In this video, we are going to learn how to solve geometric progression GP easily with Casio calculator in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, you will be able to solve geometric progression GP with Casio FS 901 ES Plus calculator easily in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. So, stay with me till the end of this video. Okay, let's begin. Let's look at the example I have here and solve it together. Example here says, if the fourth and eighth term of a GP are 256 and 16 respectively, find the A, third term, B, first term, C, comma ratio, and lastly D. If the end term is 32, find the end term. So right now, let's bring the Casio calculator we will use to solve these problems. They are very, very simple with the calculator. Okay, to begin with, you will have to put the calculator in statistics mode and to do that you press the mode button and go for category theory which represents statistics so you press theory so once you press theory then press option C, which represents gp geometric progression so once you get to this point after pressing six the next thing you will do will be to begin to impute the values respectively where the S values represent the number of terms in the sequence. So let's begin with the fourth term. The fourth term there is 256. So once you impute 4, you go back to Y and put 256 respectively. So let's go back to S and impute the next term, which is 8th term. The 8th term there is 16 so you go back to y and put 16 under 8 respectively now note that as you are imputing the values they are being stored in the calculator automatically so once you are done you wipe out these values knowing that they are already stored in the calculator so the next thing we do now will be to begin to find third term first term common ratio and the end term and to do that, you begin by pressing Shift button 1. When you look at button 1 on your calculator closely, we see statistics on top of it. So you press button 1 and go for category 5 and category 5 again. So this symbol is the symbol we use to find third term, first term, and common ratio. So let's begin with the third term. We come in front of this symbol and press theory then press report C. so our third term is 512 so having found the third term the next thing we do now will be to find the first term to find the first term you come in front of this symbol remove theory and press one so our first term is 2048 very very simple so the next thing we do will be to find the common ratio to find the common ratio you come in front of this symbol, remove one, and put the next term after four, which is the fifth term. So you press five, come at the back of this symbol, and divide it with what the fourth term is in the sequence, which is 256. So let's press a quarter now. So our common ratio is 0 0.5. It's either you do it this way or you do it this way, I show you now. So let's come in front of this symbol, remove 5, and put the next term after 8, which is the ninth nice term. So divided by what the 8th term is, yeah, which is 16. Very, very simple. Zero point five. So in that way, we give you the same value as a common ratio. So lastly, let's find the end term, and after it, we call it a class. To find the end term, you wipe out these values and go back to Shift button one, category five. This time, you go for this symbol under four. You not go for this symbol under five. This is the only symbol you can use to find the end time so you press option 4 and come in front of the symbol 
and press 32 press equal to so our end term is 7 to confirm if this 7 is correct actually for the end term what you simply do will be to wipe add these values and go back to shift button 1 category 5 category 5 this time around so come in front of this symbol and put 7 and check if it will give you 32 so let's press equal to 32 so 7 is correct as the end term very very simple so once you are done you clear the calculator to remove it from statistics mode to do that you press shift button 9 and follow the instructions we want to clear or press 3 and press equal to and equal to again so we have cleared the calculator that's it for this class we are going to learn how to solve the sum of the geometric progression recursive calculator easily in a matter of seconds especially for multiple choice questions and after going through this video you will be able to solve problems involving some of geometric progression recursive calculator in a matter of seconds especially for multiple choice questions so ensure you stay with me till the end of this video okay now let's look at this typical example I have here and solve it together because after solving this example together with you in this video you will be able to replicate the same solution for other questions you'll be seeing under some of the metric regression the classic calculator okay so the question here says the first term of a geometric series is seven and the fifth term is 567 find the sum of the first nine terms all right, so let's read the classic calculator. Now, the first thing you have to do with this calculator is to clear. I only really recommend that very important so that you'll be on the safe side. Clearly, what you do is to reset your calculator to be in default mode. So that you do not interfere with whatever present calculation you want to do because you may not remember whether you have done other calculations with the calculator in different mode. So to get a safe side, you clear to put it in the default mode. To do that, press shift button 9. Then the storage, I want to clear or press 3. Then press record 2. Press record again. Now I have cleared it. So to solve this particular problem, we go to mode. Then when you go to mode, we are going to work with statistics. So start is option 3. Press 3. So once you get there, this is very, very important. Very, very when, when you miss it here, you have missed 90% of the problem. If I find 95, if I realize 90, okay, let me say 95% of your solution with this calculator. So, this is very important for the metric progression. You go with option C. If you are solving AP, arithmetic progression is option 2, you will go with. But for GP, is what option 6. Very, very what important. So, let's press option 6 now. Let's impute the values for x value. x values will be your terms in the question. So in this question, how many terms? There are two terms. We have first term and the fifth term. So impute them respectively. We have first term. We have the fifth term. Okay. So we'll go to the other column and put the values there so when the first time there is what let's check again the first time is seven yeah the first time is seven so you put seven very equal to the fifth time is what five six seven so that's the fifth time hope it's correct yeah it's correct so now take note that they are including the values the calculator is storing them automatically so having done imputing the values, let's wipe it, press SC. So not that we have wiped it, the values we stored, I'm not going to, they are still there. Because as we are imputing them, the calculator was storing them automatically. It's not go out until you clear calculator, that's the only time to go out. As long as you don't clear the values remain there until you clear, put it in the fourth mode again. So, so having known that, let's go ahead and find 
what we're asked to find. As we find the sum of what the first nine terms. Okay, so as you all know in mathematics and statistics, to be precise, the sigma is for summation. Okay, so when we are looking for mean more than yeah, yes, mean is statistic there, yeah, but you work with sigma and the rest of them. So sigma f s over sigma f that's given the find mean the statistics. So to bring out sigma in this calculator, you press shift log. This is log sigma commands. So once you bring a sigma, please simplify or summation. We also find the sum of the word first nine terms. So we press after bringing the sigma, next you have to press to bring out the specs. Well, I found what this button x to come out. Then once you have put this x, the next thing you have to impute there one symbol, very, very important symbol. Without it, every other thing you are doing will not make sense. So to bring the symbol, you press shift. But when we look at one, we see start on top of it. So you press it. Then regression. Option 5. So this is the same work we are looking for. This same wonder option 5 again. So it's the same. Take note of it. Don't go and go with the wrong one. So you have to take note of this particular symbol. So you press option 5 and it will enter. So once you have done this, you put comma to separate uh, one and now we we'll put subsequently so to bring a comma you press shift this button that has x or top of it to come out then we have some of the for the first nine times so you press one and we'll put comma again then press nine let's check again yeah it's the first nine times nine times so once you have done it now notice that this is the beauty of it that's why it's important to get the idea. The idea is very important. With the idea, you can replicate it for other similar problems you encounter when they change the values. So, I think we ask to find some of the first 20 towns. All you simply do when you get to this stage, you change the 9 and put 20. Some of the first 50 towns, change the 9 and put 50. Some of the first 200 towns, change the 9 and put 200 in that order, in that sequence. So, you understand what I'm saying here. I hope you do. So, having noted that, let's go to the record now. Then first of all, to get our final answer, the sum. Very, very interesting. So let's record it. All right. So this is the sum, the first nine times. The value there is what sixty-eight thousand eight hundred and eighty-seven. So guys, this is it. This is the answer to this question. It's as simple as that. But we got value. You learn something very interesting that will make your work easier for you. So with this, we are coming into the class. If you are new to our channel, you should subscribe to our channel more of our videos so, so like share and comment on this video guys you should to tell me how you figure on this video so if you seem to have any specific question to ask feel free to leave a question in the comment section below and i'm sure to give you a response that's it for this class guys thanks for watching this video